G'day guys, Luke here from FizzFuel. We're a craft tea brewery here in the Gold Coast, Australia. We've just taken delivery of our glycol chiller. I um, just want to run through it, commission it, uh, take you guys along the journey and see if we can get something carbonated on the engines. So yeah, cheers. This is our Quantor Mini Chili 05. Uh, it's a glycol system that has the ability to chill our two barrel tanks down to you know, around about that three degrees Celsius mark, which is what we want when we use the carbonation stones inside these tanks to then carbonate uh, the tea inside. So the glycol reservoir holds around about 27 liters of which 30% is glycol and the remaining is distilled water. Um, so the glycol itself stops the water from freezing because we're gonna have this set to about negative four. Uh, those two submersible pumps down there are connected to each tank um, and they're also connected to the temperature controller. So whatever I set this at, the temperature probe on the internal of the tank spits out a reading and then goes, I need to be colder. So it'll start circulating glycol around the outside of these tanks. So the overall test here is one, how long will it take to carbonate and two, how long will it take to chill down? Because that's a big factor in, you know, once I finish brewing the tea, how long do I have to wait until I can put it under, uh, under CO2 pressure? So we're gonna go ahead and fill one of these tanks here with 150 liters of just filtered water um, and that'll be our test base. That glycol reservoir is now down to minus four. So I'm happy to turn on the pump and now start circulating glycol around this tank. So we're going to shoot for uh, three degrees around the tank. Uh, so just do that by heating set. And then dropping that all the way down. Three, so we get set. So now that's taking the temperature reading of what's inside the tank, telling the glycol system to pump. And now that's going to circulate around uh, glycol and we'll see how long that takes to uh, get the temperature down and then we can start carbonating. This is a carbonation chart. We are aiming for 2.65 volumes of CO2. So to use this, we go down here to find three degrees Celsius, which is our current temp, then across to find a desired CO2 level here, then up to find the desired pressure of 13 PSI. So we're at three degrees, uh, and in order to carbonate, we need to hit 13 PSI. Uh, according to the manufacturer, we need to pump this with 20 psi through the carbonation stone and then wait for the head pressure to get to our desired uh, 13 psi and then shut it off and then we'll apply some head pressure to keep it consistent 13 psi overnight and then we should be good by the morning. That's now bubbling away and we are slowly making our way up to the 13 psi head pressure that we that we need. So this is what a carbonation stone looks like. Uh, it's just got some micro pores on the end, a bore valve uh, with CO2 flowing. So it's up there and then turn it on. This is the CO2 stone turned on and as you can see it just diffuses uh, carbon dioxide into solution. Bit of an update, the pressure release valve was going on, so I reduced the pressure at the regulator down to 18, uh, and that stopped the uh, pressure release valve from releasing pressure and wasting gas. Uh, so we'll leave that for a couple hours and uh, see where it goes. So it's been about three and a half hours, so we'll take a little sample. That is bubbly. and it feels carbonated, so we'll turn it off um, and then apply head pressure overnight and see what that does. So that'll just really uh, wet, really wet those bubbles in into solution. So the regulator's been set to 13 PSI, uh, just attach it on. And away we go. So it is the following day after being under a consistent head pressure of 30 psi. So let's see if it's coming in. That's bubbly. I 
I think that's about where I want it, maybe just a little bit more. So I might go for an extra half hour um, under the carbonation stone next time and just, just see that has me. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So hope you learned something. I know I did. Uh, cheers, guys.